Hey everybody, what's up? It's Jacob here with NextGenerationAcoustics.com and I want to talk to you guys about something this week I see all the time and it is foam bass traps. Bass traps, I say in quotes. And are these things even really bass traps? We're going to get into it. Now, I like to say they're basically a scam, fake bass traps. Why is it? It's because foam just physically does not have the proper density to absorb low and mid-range frequencies, okay? So how can they even get away with calling these things bass traps? Because it's basically false advertisement, in my opinion, but this is where they can get away with it. Foam, the where it's placed, how the way that it's cut in a wedge to go into the corner, it helps because low end tends to build up in corners. And if you look at our uh, previous video, what's the difference between an acoustic panel and a bass trap, I go into that in detail. But basically, bass builds in corners and you wanna get some type of treatment there to attenuate the bass that's building up in the corner. So by slapping a piece of foam there, uh, they say you are now essentially trapping the bass. Now there's a lot of issues with this because like I said, it's like, putting a band-aid over a bullet wound. It's not really designed for it. It doesn't have the proper density and material to accurately absorb the base. Not to mention, studies have shown unanimously now that when you give an air gap behind the panel, it makes it more effective, especially in the corners, which is why when you look at our NGA base traps, our custom-made base traps, they're designed to have a, about a 16-inch air gap out from the corner. Corner. They straddle at a 45 degree angle and the material that is inside of the base trap is designed specifically to attenuate mid-range, low frequencies and give you accurate frequency absorption. Now, when it comes to foam, is it better than having nothing? I'd say, yeah, I, I would do it. If I had absolutely nothing, I would maybe throw one or two in somewhere but I would get rid of them as soon as possible and replace them with some high quality treatment if you can so I hope that helps answer some questions because I see these things everywhere and I've helped people remove them from their studio after we talked had a consultation help them figure everything out figure out exactly what they need a lot of times we just get rid of these things completely and people are very happy with the results but if you want to know what you should do with your space feel free to fill out a free room analysis form we'll get back to you with some recommendations on things you could do to improve the acoustics in your room and if you would like to book a personal in-depth consultation with me I'll be happy to go over your room, answer any questions you have, help you design a treatment plan, let you know exactly how to implement it, and uh, just make sure that you are up to date with the industry standards for whatever kind of space that you're in. Well, you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the video and the channel, and I'll talk to you guys again here soon. Uh, where we'll be debunking more bass trap myths. Peace.